Yo, what's going on guys? So, football guys are back. Basically the first week we're getting, full week we'll get going. Uh, we're gonna do a little linear speed today and some uh, lower body strength, check it out. Hey, let's run through our skip series now. Hey, remember big thing, beginning of off season, create good habits, good habits. So I want arm action, close front side, chop the pocket down back side, pop the thigh here using your hip, toe to the top of the shoe, put it back down. We're gonna go regular A skips. I want fast up, fast down. Fast up, fast down, clean arm action. Second one, adding power. Separate the hips, pull away with the down leg, right, push forward each time. thousand reps in 10 yards. I don't need knee up to hip level on this one. I just want you firing the nervous system as fast as you can. Train fast to get fast. Train fast to get fast. 10 yards down. Let's go. All out. Pop, 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 pop. Strike the ball of the foot. Toe never points. Ah, right, boys. Good. Now we're going through the knee, right? Thigh pops, butt kick run. Try to smash your hamstring with your calf. All right, fast reps, train it across the knee. Here we go. Now knee comes to hip level, raise the heel, okay? Knee comes to hip level, raise the heel. So it's high knee butt kick. Emphasis on the knee getting the hip level, all right? You're still training it fast. Now we're going through a full range of motion, okay? Full range of motion. Hey, so now we're gonna go 20 yards. I want you back here on this line, 24 yards. We're gonna go straight leg bounce. Focus on open the hip, strike the ball of the foot underneath the hip, pull away. I don't want you leaning back, keep the rib cage over the hips. Focus on separation of the hips. We're trying to open up your hips here, all right? Big long bounds, big long bounds. Let's go 20 yards down. Never point the to toe, never point the to toe. Dorsey flexion. Good. LJ on the track. Last two in this series, we're going alternating bounds. Hey, remember, big thing. You want to stay in dorsiflexion when you attack the ground, right? If I go here, I'm collapsing. Stay in dorsiflexion, attack the ground, back down, long in the back leg. Start off small and then you wanna add power as you go. If you got it down and technique looks good, just give yourself power. Push out, boom. I want you driving as far horizontally as you possibly can when you attack that ground. Let it take you there, let it take you there. 24 yards, push forward, not up, forward. I'll take that, D. go two point starts. We're gonna do exactly the same thing we did last week. I only want four reps here. All right, but instill the habits we just did. Remember, that's when I'm pushing forward. I'm not lifting the heel. I'm driving up. I got a strong knee punch forward and I attack the ground with the glue. We just did that with alternating bounds. Now do it in your sprint. So gain ground, right? Attack with the glue and don't cycle the heel don't cycle the heel. All I need is five hard yards. This is more, hey, shift your mind to more mechanics, all right? Perfect reps, perfect reps. I don't need all out power right now. Soon as it, soon as it clicks, then we can go up, all right? Hey, pop up to the line. Hey, lead leg, I don't even care what leg you go forward. Just put it on, stack the legs for me. I'm gonna keep it right there. Don't hit the stick, don't hit the stick. Don't hit it. That boy, gang ground, I love it. Ah, 
Now you see your third step. Ah boy. Ah boy. So now let's reinforce it with a little resistance. So now we're working more speed strength, okay? I want you guys to hold about six, seven inches down. From there, I want chest in between. And I want to reiterate the same thing we just did. We're going five yard burst. Five yard burst, you're gonna go two of them. Reset and then another five yard, alternate each time. You flip around, next guy go. Here's what I want. Instead of just running and lifting the heel, I want you focused on toe tight, punch up and attack back down to ground. If you attack straight down, you're gonna hit the sled. Does that make sense? So if I attack straight here, right? That's the wrong move. I'm gonna stand straight up when I'm actually running or you'll hit the sled here. I wanna punch straight and attack back down to the ground. But I'm doing it in a running form. So I'm here, bang, 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 right? I'm not lifting my heel. When you're pushing resistance, what's the first thing you wanna do? You wanna get that extra little push so you lift the heel. I'm trying to say, okay, now we have resistance and just use the glute, attack, push through, and attack again. Pop, attack, like a piston. Don't get that extra ump, all right? Maintain mechanics. Uh, uh, that's it. We're going five by three, simple progressive overload. Drop the rep by one, last set, you should be a little bit heavier. Think 10%, just start cranking it up, all right? In between, you're going hip circle squats, band above the knees, I want you here, right? Uh, feet right underneath your hips, toes forward. I want you trying to drive the mats apart. Imagine you have split mat. you can even use the split right there. Try to drive the mats apart, up and down. Up and down, you're producing torque. All right, so it just reinforces. You only have three reps there, but do them right for me. So when you're coming down, I'm trying to spread the floor. And when I'm trying to, when I'm coming up, I'm trying to spread the floor, right? And then you switch it over, five by three there. So three and three, five rounds. for posterior chain. You guys are going dumbbell RDL. Remember here, I want you underneath your hips, toes forward. I want you reaching your hips back. Guys, you're not tipping forward. You're reaching the hips back wherever it takes you and then come up. Don't round to reach. You don't need to get depth by reaching here, all right? Just push the hips back. Six reps, six reps, okay? Then you're over here, reverse hyper, six reps. 